Hi traders, S&P 500 finished the week up by 0.1%. However, the Nasdaq dropped down by 0.9% as the technology sector continued to drop. The expected Fed announcement on Wednesday did not move the market. It was expected that it will not move the market. However, Amazon on Friday did surprise with the purchase of Whole Food Market, which did move the retail sector. We are moving into the summer. That means holidays, lower volume, sleepy market, and therefore we should concentrate on the movement of specific stocks and not on the movement of sectors or the market. This week, you should watch on Wednesday the announcement of uh, home new, new home sales, which could move the market, and watch the oil prices as they are moving lower. Last week, they moved down by 2.4%, and if they will continue to drop under the very important level of $40, this could influence the market. Let's take a technical view of the market. As we watch the S&P 500, we can see it is still uptrending. The only thing we did recently is just go down a little bit, take some profits, but we are still in an uptrending mode. We may visit this area of the 2400, which is a very strong support area, but there's till now no reason to think that we're changing any direction. But of course, stay tuned to any news that could move the market. Let's take a look at last week picks. My first pick last week was AIG Long. AIG did trigger, looks great, did not do much, did not get to the stop loss, did not continue higher, but if the market is going to continue, AIG will probably continue moving higher. So AIG is still in the game. My second pick last week was Dow Long. Same story applies. It was a little bit more volatile. However, it is still in the trigger area and hopefully will continue this week. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is WRK Long, manufacturer of uh, paper and packaging in the US. Very, very nice uptrend and very, very nice bull flag formation. So WRK Long over $57.86. My second pick for the week is URI short under 102.73. Very nice downtrend. And take a look at the 200 moving average, simple moving average, it's very important that it's being supported at right now. Usually when a 200 moving average is being uh, broken down in this case, then there's a very, very good chance for the stock to drop dramatically. Now, it also have a very nice uh, trend and also a very nice breakdown uh, formation. So everything together looks great for a short. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.